hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel how are we doing today so guys a quick one i want to talk about being a single mother at the same time being a student oh my god you know you don't want to know huh <laughs> let me tell you guys okay on a serious note most of us mothers parents we know that being a single parent in this country is so stressful okay at the same time being a student okay with myself personally i'm a mother with a child one child i have a daughter she's six years old imagine me doing school roles at the same time i have to attend the uni okay with my uni um there has been a lot of um confusions because um in terms of attending the uni it has it has been really like stressful for us students because um with my classmates um what we did is we created a whatsapp group um for us to communicate to one another in terms of when it comes to the assignments in case you need anything or you don't understand some certain thing saying things okay and that whatsapp group that we created is really really important for us because most of the students don't really understand what to do even though the teacher may um, explain things to them they still find it hard i mean they still find it really difficult to um to understand so that's the more reason why we open up a whatsapp group for us to come together as one um talk about anything in terms of our assignments attendance the time that we're meant to start our lesson and stuff like that okay all right being a single mother is hard like i said okay because for me i have to drop my daughter from school go back to pick her up from school at the same time i know the fact that <laughs> obviously i've got assignment to do to get my point with the uni um we were doing our lesson online which was a bit okay for most parents at the same time it's hard because while you're doing your lesson online you have a child at home it's so difficult because you're not even going to be able to concentrate that much because you have a child around obviously you have a child she or he might need food they want to use the toilet you have to leave everything that you're doing and attend to your kids do you understand so being a single mom in this country at the same time being a student is so hard i'm going through it so i know exactly what i'm talking about and with the uni as well because we were doing our lesson online now they have changed everything because of the covid19 spoiled everything we were meant to attend the unit itself face-to-face -face learning but the reason why we're doing our lesson online is because of the covid19 now all of a sudden the uni right to, wrote to us saying we are finally going back to the campus okay fair enough us students and my classmate we were all excited the fact that we're gonna go back to the campus that's okay for us but the one thing we didn't agree on with is they waited till last minute and say that we have to attend the lesson so that's where the argument comes because this is what i told the group because since we opened a whatsapp group to say your mind to say whatever you feel if you feel like this is wrong you talk about it if you feel like that's right we all come together and talk about it and agree so which is really is which is helping us a lot do you get my point so now we finally start attending the uni the, i mean the campus do you understand but then because they didn't come out clear at the first time it really had a big effect on us students because most of us are parents and we have to do school runs which we all know is not easy you have to drop your child off school you have to attend the university at the same time you have an assignment to do it's not easy it's really hard and it's so stressful do you get my point most of the students like they some of them are working doing school runs at the same time attending the uni so they have been really stressed same here i've been really stressed because what i said was they could have been a bit specific like they could have told us okay so 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 date you're not gonna go back to the university to the campus or 
either we go to the campus and continue with our education or we're going to stay home and do the online learning do you understand but they didn't do that they wait till last minute and tell us that we have to attend the uni like i was so stressed i was so devastated because i was thinking okay i need to have enough time for me to look for a child minder who i can i can do the drop in i can do i can drop my child off school in the morning while she pick her off for me in the afternoon do you get me but then i didn't have enough time to do that because every minute they keep changing the timing the attendance and stuff it was so frustrating for me as a single parent because i need to know my schedule i need to know what i can be able to do i need to know the time the day and stuff but they were not doing that so it's not just me that it had an effect on even my classmate they've been complaining so finally when last week tuesday we went to the uni we had to talk to the teachers about it because it was so confusing even the teachers themselves they don't even know what to do or what to say to us so if the teachers don't know what to do like i mean we as a student what are we gonna do so it was a bit stressful for me um because i need to like you know know what to do exactly like okay let's say when i drop my door off to school off school i need to leave the campus on time for me to be able to come back quickly and go and pick my child from school because i don't want my child to be sitting there waiting for me do you get my point so when we went to the uni i spoke to the teacher i said to, I said to him listen um i'm sorry but i have to leave early to for me to be able to go and pick my child from school and he understands because most of us in the classroom we are parents and he understands the fact that being a single parent is not easy you have to do the school runs you have assignment to do and uni assignment is hard most of you are going to you know what i'm trying to say uni assignment is so hard five thousand words three thousand words two thousand one thousand five hundred you can't do that in a day you have to take your time you have to take your time to do your assignment at the same time you have to be a mother at home most of them are married as well you have to be a housewife at home you have to be a mother you have to be a parent you have to look after your kids you have to cook for them when they come back from school you have to help them to change their uniform make them food you know help them with their homework as well because most of these because my daughter is in year one so sometimes i help her with her homework and stuff at the same time i have to do my assignment at home and i have the due date deadline to submit my assignment so you need enough time as a parent as a mother for you to be able to concentrate on your education making sure that you're doing your assignment properly for you to be able to submit them on time because if you don't submit your assignment on time that's gonna like come on you're not gonna pass because the uni they will literally tell you the teacher will tell you this is the deadline you have to uh, you have to submit your assignment on time if you don't do that that can result for you to like um fail your assignment imagine spending nights like i was so stressed i was i was like i was going crazy i had sleepless night because i have an assignment to do and i have a deadline i need to i need to submit my assignment so for you to be able to struggle to do your assignments at the same time you have a child who you need to look after at the same time you have to do school runs do you know how hard that is it's absolutely hard even most of my friends be telling me how are you doing in there like how are you doing this how are you coping with their school runs at the same time attending the uni it's so hard but because of the COVID 19 the uni themselves become really confused and they confuse us as well because we didn't know what to do we didn't know either to attend the uni itself the campus or stay home and continue with the online learning but now the fact that we have to attend the uni has become even more difficult for us because um they they said like um we have to start our lesson about nine o'clock most of us here our child they 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 have to go they get into their um classes about 8 40. okay when you drop your child to school 8 40. by the time you get the bus to go to the campus you're gonna be late you can't make it 
and one thing about me i love to be on time i hate being late especially when it comes to uni you need to be really serious with your education at the same time you have to be serious with about being a parent you have to you have to um pay attention to your child you have to give your child the attention that they need as a mother do you understand you have to be there for them at the same time you have to concentrate on your education so you see what i'm trying to say like you see what i'm saying like how hard it is being a single parent at the same time you want to further your education it's so hard it's extremely hard it is hard we know being a single parent is going to is absolutely hard but shout out to all the single parents in this country like you lot are doing your best you lot are doing amazing i'm not even gonna lie you guys are doing good don't let anybody tell you otherwise you guys are doing amazing because being a single parent working trying to do a part-time job because i want to go back to work but the moment I sat, I sat down i said listen okay i want to go back to work i can't do full-time obviously okay i want to do a part-time job at the same time i have to attend the university at the same time i have to do school runs lastly i have to do my assignments that's gonna be so stressful for me so for now i put the job thing aside i want to concentrate on my education at the same time on my child because she needs me do you get my point so you see what what i said is really hard because you can't put all that together but at the same time you don't have a choice you have to be strong if you want to further your education like you know you gotta do it at the same time you have to be a parent you have to look after your kids so it's so hard but then finally now that we're attending the uni we spoke to the teachers we came together as a group we spoke to the teachers and we we're like listen okay we are single parents um we have school runs to do okay we ain't got no help we need to take our time to look for a child minder who can assist us take our child to school or be able to pick them back up from school which whichever way so us for us to attend uni at 9 30 or 9 o'clock we can't make it because the kids start school have a 8 40 and stuff like that because my daughter goes to school at 8 40 so i'm not gonna have enough time to get the bus to get, try my best to get to the uni i'm gonna be late i don't want to be late because when you're late you're gonna miss most of the lessons like do you get what i mean and the teach some of the teachers don't they hate to go over it again because they already have so they don't want to waste their time and go over it again to get my point so when we speak to the teacher they understand it they're like okay instead of nine o'clock now you look and start at 11 which is fair enough at least if we're gonna start lesson at 11 o'clock that means we have enough time to drop our kids to school then we don't have to rush because at, at first i was thinking how am i gonna be able to do this i'm a single parent I need to sort out the child mind. I need enough time to sort out child because most of the child minders now they all occupy like fully booked because there's so many of parents who are working, they need a child minder. So we as a student, we need enough time to be able to sort that out first, sort out the child minder first before thinking of anything else. Because if you don't do that, like it's gonna be so hard for you, it's gonna be so stressful. So for the past few months. And this week that one went past, I've been really stressed because I have to do my assignments. I have to attend the university. I have to drop my daughter from school, come back home. I have to cook, make her food to eat. I have to clean the house. Come on now. It's not easy. It's not. So the more reason why I want to talk about this, I'm talking about this today because most of my friends were like, you should talk about this to educate some of the mothers. Do you get what I mean? Like, you lot are doing good. We are doing good. Because it's not easy being a student, being a parent at the same time. You have to do school runs. It's so hard. I mean, we are superheroes. We're doing it, you know. Some parents can't even go to work because how can you go to work? Okay, the timing. Sometimes, because I used to do um, a care job. Care job is so hard. You trying to do a care job at the same time. The timing, you have to start early in the morning. How you can have enough time to drop your child off school at the same time uni to get my point so you gotta do you can't do both at the same time it's gonna be so stressful for you like being a single parent already is enough stress it's, it's enough headache not to talk of being a um a student on top of that 
So it's been crazy for me. But then now finally we attended the uni. It's been going fine because they changed the timing now, which is okay for me. I can be able to manage myself, the timing and stuff like that. And then like um, when we start at 11, we finish at um, 2 o'clock. So at least I have enough time to catch the bus and go and pick my child from school. Come back home. I have to go through my lessons that have been taught in class. I have to go through them, you know, start writing down my assignments and stuff. Like, it's so stressful, man. Like, it's absolutely stressful. Like, I don't know how we do it, but we are superheroes. Like, shout out to all the single mothers out there. You guys are absolutely amazing. You guys are doing well. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Trust me, you guys are doing absolutely amazing because it's so hard. It is hard. Trust me. It is really hard. But then, well, I'm happy. I'm managing myself. It's, it hasn't been easy with me, to be honest. That's the more reason why I want to talk about it because it's such an important topic. At least you can, you know, help others to become aware, like, you know, you know, have, you know, be stronger, do your thing. I know it's not easy being a single parent at the same time. You, you want to live your life, you know, you have a child to look after because you want to look good too. You want to look good. You want to be happy. But at the same time, your child is your number one priority. Your child should be your number one priority. At the same time, you got to go uni, you got to do assignment, no one to help you. It's hard, like, it is so hard. But thank God, I can't complain to be honest, you guys. I really can't complain. Like, it's been really hella hard for me. It's been so, so hard for me. But I'm doing good, like, absolutely good. It's just that the assignment are giving me a headache. <laughs> it's so stressful. Especially when the teacher tell you that this is the deadline. Because I got assignment to submit so, uh, 5th of November. And November is my birthday. But I'm going to be busy doing my assignment because I have to submit it. Because I want to pass. I want to graduate. I want to have my degree. I want to I wanna become better in life. I want to do something with my life. So you see? So being a single parent... At the same time, being a student is so hard. But I'm doing it, thank God. I'm doing it. I'm still glowing. I'm happy. I'm doing my best. It's not been easy. Don't get me wrong, you guys. It's not been easy. It's been hella stress for me. It's not just me. Even my classmates, they were all stressed. Because they, they keep changing the time. Okay, they keep canceling. Okay, Tuesday, you don't have less. The next minute, they will change it. Oh, it's not even Tuesday. It's Thursday. Next week, they change it again. Now it's Friday. So it has been really stressful for us parents because most of the students, half of them are parents. Do you get my point? So for um, so far, so good. It's been going okay for now. Let's see what's going to happen because now we're attending the uni once a day, every Tuesday, which is fair enough. At least we have enough time. At least I have enough time to be able to concentrate on my child help her with her um, assignments at home at the same time help myself to do my assignments at home and for me to be able to create enough time for me to um submit my assignment on time so i'm doing good like to honest you guys i'm trying my best so that's the topic about today you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe down below tell me what you all think don't forget to comment like and subscribe before i go i know i keep talking about my hair and stuff before i go this beautiful headband wig is so nice i got it from aliexpress you know one thing about me like i always forget to put the their link below i need to put their link down so you girls can go and check it out it's very comfortable um it's so soft it's really full as well it's 20 inches um curly wig so it's a it comes with a hairband as you can see it's so nice and it's so comfortable as well like it feel so free on my head it's not heavy even though it's full because i like it when my hair is fuller it's more nicer so yeah it's so nice it's easier to fix as well you know so yeah all right guys hope you guys enjoyed my video please like comment and subscribe see you guys later bye